Hey guys, what is going on? This is the GTA Wise Guy and welcome back to another Need for Speed 2015 video. And in this one, I've got some PC footage for you guys. So, PC will be releasing on March the 15th in the US and March 17th in Europe and everywhere else. So I did manage to go up to Gothenburg to the Ghost Games headquarters, which if some of you guys have watched my previous video, you already know that I got to do that to play the Drag Racing update. And I was also able to play PC while I was there as well. So, straight off the bat, we can see how smooth it is with 60 FPS. So you can, be, you will be able to play it in 4K. This was in 1440, but on YouTube for you guys watching, it will be 1080, 60. But in 4K, I cannot imagine how beautiful this game looks. In 1080, 60 FPS, it is so smooth, so crisp. Even the shadow resolution is improved. The draw distance, the the just general textures, the metallic and roughness maps, the actual how the light reflects off those is even better as well and just look rotating around the car how smooth the camera is it has just completely stepped up need for speed it looks so realistic now heading out into ventura bay we can just see how much more detail has gone into the game with the improved sort of like even everything with like the light bokeh the way it's just the like you can see the circles on the screen from the rain and everything the way the light goes over them it is just absolutely insane now even the motion blur as well as the car's moving that has improved as well all the little particle effects like the tire smoke the the backfire from the cars it, it just looks so much better the way the lighting is just rendered so quickly into the world like the way it's reflecting off the puddles so like i said before with the metallic and roughness maps that look just looks so much more better and the way the game can render it in so quickly is just mind-boggling so you are going to need a pretty powerful computer to run this at its max settings so in terms of handling, I decided to take this bad quality 180SX that I created. So obviously it isn't a complete recreation of the bad quality. It's sort of my own little twist on it. But I decided to take it drifting and seeing how it compared to the Xbox One and PS4. Now it doesn't really change much at all. Except for the fact that it's 60fps, it's a lot smoother. You've got a bit more time to react. It's not as juddery. And it just feels a lot better when you're drifting. I did also do some grip bracing as well, which I'll be showing you guys shortly. But I decided to do a comparison between PC and Xbox One. So I recorded a hurricane drifting on maximum attack on PC. And then when I got home, I decided to do it on Xbox One. And putting the two sets of footage together, the resemblance is pretty uncanny. Now, it's exactly the same except for the frame rate. As you can see on the left of the Xbox One, it is a bit juddery. You can't really see exactly what's going on compared to the 60 FPS PC. It's just so smooth compared to the one on the left now i'll just leave you guys with this footage so that you guys can watch it without me rambling on a bit and just have your own take on it and then i'll be back with some more wheel footage and grip racing gameplay as well
So there we are. I got 1.43 million on the Xbox One compared to 1.35 million on the PC. Now that was just down to the fact that the, the odds weren't really in my favor on PC with that certain race but as you can see even on the final sort of loading screen there on the rundown menu we can see like the light bokeh was a lot better on the pc version now there was some blur coming out of that on the left one on the xbox one but that's probably just down to a bit of a ui change for the pc version now of course there's my car as well there's my evo and for speed i thought i'd go and create that and uh, mess around with it on pc now this was a grip build and now i wanted to see how that compared to the xbox one and ps4 now there is no difference of course except for like I said previously with the frame rate and everything else it just looks so crisp and just driving it down the highway now the way the motion blur is acting and it just looks so smooth I cannot iterate that enough it just looks beautiful. Now with the grip racing it, it just felt so good on PC and um, especially in manual as well. Uh, with the actual when it comes to using the wheel a bit later on I was very bad at grip racing so the actual handling does change quite a bit when it comes to using the wheel but with the actual controller it is pretty much exactly the same as it was before now when it comes to using the wheel I decided to go on maximum attack again and uh, use the hurricane now with it being all-wheel drive what you use on the controller is well what you have to do is you flick your stick left and right constantly to constantly battle counter steer and keep your speed up. Now doing this with the wheel was really hard because as you can imagine you've got to throw it left, right, left, right. That is just not convenient. Now I think the way the Neva Speed devs have done it is you don't have to do that with the, with the actual wheel. Now I was trying to do that which was kind of stupid of me which is why I'm sort of failing here. I've not really used the wheel properly in a long time. So on Need for Speed a little bit longer on the race as you can see it's a bit more smoother here I'm not as aggressive with the wheel as I was at the start so you can be really smooth with the wheel and it will just sort of guide you along you don't have to do too much work with the wheel compared to what you have to with the controller so I also decided to go for a grip build I decided to do a BMW M3 E92 and that didn't go so well I was pretty bad I couldn't really take corners nicely I crashed into walls and it just wasn't a fun experience. So it does take a bit of getting used to with the wheel. I'm pretty bad. I've never used one since I was like 10 and they were, they are so outdated now. So I was pretty bad. You guys are going to probably do a better job than me. But when it comes down to it, uh, using the keyboard as well, that wasn't really good. Because using the keyboard to accelerate and stuff, you don't have any throttle control or anything. But I did use it for a bit and it was okay, I suppose. But when it comes to using throttle control and having the complete control in your car you're either going to need to use a controller or just be decent with a wheel which i wasn't so anyway guys i'll just leave you with this footage of me on maximum attack just doing a full run with the wheel um and you guys can let me know what you think of my awful attempt of using the wheel on need for speed on pc i hope you guys are looking forward to pc i most certainly am i cannot wait for it Anyway guys, that is pretty much all for this video. If you have any questions about PC or Need for Speed in general, let me know in the comments section and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Anyway guys, that is pretty much all for this video. If you are new, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.